Proposition A is a complicated proposal, but simply put, it wants to take an existing sales tax and repurpose how it's used. The current tax will expire in a couple of years, and here's where Proposition A comes into play. If approved, it would extend the life of the tax, but use the funds that it raises for a lengthy wish list. Convention center complex improvements, including possibly an anchor hotel, funds for regional parks, industrial roads, and attracting more flights and passengers to the airport. We've got a convention center that needs to be modernized, and that includes the arena, and that includes the Selena Auditorium. Now, could we utilize those funds to incent a developer? Yes, we can. Just very much so, like we've incented uh, three hotels downtown and one on North Beach. Here's how the financial pie could be cut up. At least 5% of the funds have to go to regional parks, 5% for roads, 5% for the convention center complex, and a maximum of 5% to attracting new flight destinations. The total to be at council's discretion. Those are floors. Those are minimum amounts that would be allocated per year. We can, we can allocate over and above that 5%. That was just making sure to help um, make voters comfortable the fact that it wasn't just about the convention center, it wasn't just about the American Bank Center, that there are going to be other uses. So if they're only required to do 5%, and in some cases up to 5%, that tells me there's a problem. So this is not about your true quality of life assets. This is about something else. The wording of the ballot mentions roads, parks, and the convention center complex, but opponents say it's leaving out one critical detail that is of major concern, a convention center headquarters hotel. The headquarters hotel is a major, is a major cost in that convention center complex. And that is not coming from me. It is coming from the city's own presentation. This hotel, while utilizing other sources of taxpayer funds, is estimated to cost the taxpayers $200 million. Totally unacceptable to put something like that in a resolution to hide it from the voters. That study itself says that even if all of their economic projections come true, that we will spend uh, $1.4 billion in taxpayer taxes over the next uh, 30 years to support this thing. After some pushback from the community, which now includes the Nueces County Republican Party, Nueces County Democratic Party, the Libertarian Party in Nueces County, Corpus Christi Taxpayers Association, and 53 of the 70 hotel owners in the area, Council backed away from the idea of a hotel during council meetings in October, with some members even asking if they could remove the hotel from the resolution. And I don't think city council realized up until the last few weeks what this whole proposition could do, the intent behind it. But the hotel remains on the ballots, in the fine print that is. The city staff says that there is a chance that the hotel portion may not even happen if they're unable to find a developer to build and manage the hotel. The opponents say two-thirds of which will be funded by taxpayer money. That number does not take into consideration any of the state taxes that we'd be able to leverage um, either for the convention center or for the hotel if we choose to move forward to either of those projects. So from here on, from right now, it's just for the entire convention center complex of which there's a, there's a very strong need of at least $60 million. But opponents say the funds from the repurposed tax don't focus enough on safety or quality of life improvements. It is, it is diverting money from storm protection to pay for a hotel. Uh, and that's offensive to me and I think it's offensive to most people. For Chris Six News, Brian Hoffman.